And many people believe the future of uh, artificial intelligence is both dangerous and incredibly uncertain, especially when it comes to uh, businesses right here in the U.S. and around the world. Take a look. More on AI's impact on businesses in 2024. We welcome in the uh, all-knowing AI expert, Aaron Rafferty. Aaron, what will AI's impact be in 2024? Thanks for having me back on, Mike. Uh, we are seeing a number of, obviously, uh, advancements in the space right now. And when we look to 2024, there's a number of things that have to be accounted for before we can start to address the impact, right? We're seeing uh, advancements, obviously, in automation, uh, specifically physical infrastructure, as well as the software space. Um, obviously, my part to play in that is on the software side. But before we can target a lot of the, the advancements, the uh, additive value to GDP for many countries, um, we have to start to uh, you know, target the regulatory landscape that the US still has yet to come to closure on. Uh, I think you know, we see EU, they're pretty far advanced. We also have to solve a lot of the enterprise integration problems that we're currently seeing and once we do kind of get past those hurdles, uh, we're seeing a huge kind of next era or next phase of the internet in terms of capability um, for not only enterprise models, but then also the small to medium kind of enterprise uh, businesses as well. What areas do you think will be impacted the most? The first thing that comes to mind for me is the way that people do business today. When we look to the early 2000s, when the internet was starting to be adopted, you have companies that first came online, could sell from their local storefront, now globally, or even nationally, right? To make that leap, you have furniture sales, you have mattress sales. These, these aren't traditionally uh, you know, internet companies, but now, obviously, they all do business online and you access the broader market. With AI, you have the ability to now multiply your efforts potentially limitlessly based on computing power, based on your access to the actual you know, agents and ability to train models that are based on your business. When you're doing that and when you're actually taking those models and training them for success, using the right data, using the right, uh, you know, uh, kind of mapping for how you make money, we're going to see a magnitude level effect on the way that the simplest businesses are actually connecting and doing sales, as well as some of the biggest businesses are extending their market share and extending their, their lead in the market. Aaron, how much do you think these businesses uh, will be impacted in 2024 and in the future, 2025? Yeah, we're seeing it today. You know, we had uh, the writer strikes earlier, uh, you know, last quarter. We have the auto worker strikes. Uh, these businesses that are at the forefront of automation at, at the level that it infects their employees, uh, you're, you have both sides of the picture. You have employees are you know, being impacted where their work potentially isn't as valuable as it stands today. However, their work optimized with AI could be more valuable in the future, but that requires upscaling. On the flip side of that, you have the same companies that are early into the adoption cycle or have been adopting this type of technology for you know, the last 20 years, even the last 30 years, and are at the forefront of it. They are really going to extend their lead, they're going to extend their efficiency, and it adds multiples to their valuation, it decreases their costs dramatically, and we're going to see them gain lead even further. Aaron, final question. Um, what have we learned in 2023 about AI moving forward? In 2023, we learned that most people don't know much about AI. They know Terminator movie. They know uh, the large implications, you know, um, 2001, uh, you know, they know about the movies and the implications at a societal and uh, potential global level, catastrophic level, right? 
we now know that they didn't really understand the implications it had for how we live life every day. And the simplest things from you know, making a recipe to planning your weekend, these are how people are using AI today. And people aren't looking at it so much in their business in the way that AI is most efficient, right? We're looking at uh, the ad adoption of things like ChatGPT, which is that the most efficient use of your time? Probably not, right? And so we're starting to see that people are hungry for this technology. They're hungry to move to the next step of adoption, but there needs to be guidance and there needs to be an understanding that their information and this is what they're finding is the most valuable thing. Aaron Rafferty, thank you very much for your time. Have a Wonderful weekend. Thanks, Mike. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.